have so much to talk about. I don't know where to start. First and foremost, hello my friends. If you're here, hi, happy new year. Happy 2024. 2024. 2004 was 20 years ago, in case you were wondering. 2000, 2000 was 24 years ago. I can keep going. Math is not my strong suit, but I just want to make sure you, you guys understood that. That 2004 was 20 years ago. That's crazy. Anyways, hi. How are you guys doing? Happy Tuesday. Um, I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas season. And um, I hope that you had a fantastic New Year. Now, I haven't done this in two weeks. And if you guys know me, which you do, you know that I'm already like super duper duper awkward. And that when I'm gone for a while, I kind of forget what I'm doing. So just bear with me. We're going to have a laid back sale tonight. Catch up. Talk with our friends. I've missed you all tremendously. So much. So, let's, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my break first. So, Tiny Human had two weeks off for winter break, you see. You see. And it was all a ploy. It was all, it was all a big sham shenanigans. So, first week, Tiny Human had the flu. And I spent the whole first week taking care of Tiny Human in the flu. And she was miserable. And I felt terrible. Not like I didn't feel terrible. Like, <clears throat> I just felt terrible that she felt terrible. Then the week of Christmas, she was better. And then I had the flu. So I spent Christmas alone in my bed with the flu in a really high fever. It was really fun, but at least Tiny Human and Handsome Husband got to spend Christmas with the family, the extended family. So they had a good time. I'm not trying to sound ungrateful. I had amazing presents. It was, it was, it was a very good attempt at a good holiday. However, being alone on Christmas in your bed, sick with the flu is not the funnest, I'd have to say. So I was even too sick to even say, sorry guys, I'm not having a sale. So, uh, what is that called when you say, sorry belated, I didn't have a sale last week? <laughs> I'm sorry. It was, it was a tough time. It was a real tough time. But I hope all of you had a fantastic holiday. That's what's most important. But I'm going to say hi to the friends real quick. Hi, hello. Colleen, hello. How are you doing tonight, dear? Susan, welcome. <gasps> you caught me. I'm live. I'm busted. Hi, Samantha Richard, Vintage Show and Tell. Hello. Your comment made me smile on my reel. So thank you so much for that. Laura Orton, hello, hello. Rachel, if you guys didn't see, I posted a fantastic antique Christmas ornament um, that was gifted to me by my dear friend Rachel on my Instagram. 10 out of 10 recommend going and look at it. It is the creepiest, coolest, most me Christmas ornament I've ever seen. Just thought I'd tell you. Lisa Jens, you're having withering withdrawals. I feel like that has merch potential somehow. Little White Quail, hello, welcome in, welcome in. Redheaded Kitty Cat, happy 2024, dear. Um, also, are you moderating tonight, <laughs> Redheaded Kitty Cat? Please let me know. Um, I hope that's okay. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Teddy. 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 Debbie. Debbie and Teddy. Did you see that also on my Instagram? Um, I realized that my withering pup has a, a dino tattoo on her ear. Did you see that? What are the chances? It was so cute. Hi, Dusty. Happy New Year to you. Wordsmith. It's like a family reunion. It's like the Catalina wine mixer. Welcome back. I miss you guys so much. Amy. Hello, Amy. Sweet, sweet Amy. Cheryl Stevens. Happy New Year to you too, my friend. Sandra Bowers. Hello. And Sajira too. Hello, hello. Happy New Year, my dear. Sharon Olson. Hello. Happy New Year to you as well. Mayberry Caboodles. Wolves 2018 slash 2019. Happy New Year to you, dear. Mary Dugan. Marilyn. Did I... Was that close? Marilyn, Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year to you. Shelly Casey Walker. Oh, it's okay. I'm better now. I'm on the tail end, so I'm good. I just really stunk that it was on Christmas. Like, out of all the days to have the flu, it had to be Christmas. 
Like, oh, that's so frustrating. I had so many Christmas plans. And, and I couldn't do none of them. Val, hello. Sandra, hello. Don, hello. Philly girl, hello. Happy New Year, Philly girl. Philly girl. Twice as awesome. I hope so. I hope so. That would be good. I mean, I'm not trying to sound ungrateful. I still had a fantastic holiday. And truth be told, I'm never like still, you know? Like I'm, there's always something to do. There's always somebody to be fed. There's always something clean. There's always something. So although I was sick, I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of nice to just like be in a bed and like have to lay there. I'm not, it was, I mean, it wasn't the worst, but it just was not fun that it was on Christmas and that I was sick. <laughs> That wasn't fun. Hi, Tarnished Treasures. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so thankful that you guys didn't forget about me. I thought, gosh, I haven't been on in two weeks. They're like, this girl, bye. She left us. We're not coming back. So the fact that y'all came back, thank you so much. Brenda Bat, hello. Happy New Year. Tex-Mex, happy half year to you too. So happy you're here. Lindy. Oh, Lindy, that's so nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Martina, thank you so much. I'm glad I'm feeling better too. Hi, Crescent Moon. How are you doing tonight? And Pummels, I'm so happy to see my friends. Um, before we get started, I did want to say, Angela, hello. I did want to say, if you sent me a Christmas gift or a Christmas card to my P.O. box, thank you so incredibly much. Um, I didn't fill up film and unboxing of them because I was so sick. I just kind of wanted the joy. <laughs> I was kind of selfish and just opened it on my own time. Um, I hope that's okay. But if you did send me something to my PO box, thank you so much. I still can't believe that like I get presents from my friends in my PO box. It's like the coolest thing ever. I will never, ever, ever get over it. So thank you. Thank you for that. Um, Everything everybody sent me was amazing, but I did want to give a special shout out to one person in particular. I'm not going to say her name because I don't know. Um, I noticed that she doesn't comment and I did try to find her on Instagram and Facebook and um, I don't have her email and I don't have her Instagram or her Facebook. Oh, thank you, Catherine. You didn't need to do that, but happy new year to you too. I hope you have a good year. You deserve a good year, girl. You deserve a good year. But I'm gonna keep her name private, but if you sent me a package to my P.O. box that included this amazing moth necklace, okay? This is spectacular. And these little weirdos, which, in my defense, she said, little weirdos for your withering hoard. So she, these are, that's what they are, little weirdos. I love them. I, I'm getting goosebumps. Your package took my breath away. The thoughtfulness, the way you curated it for me, all the things you put in there, and those chocolates. If you're watching, I don't know how else to reach you. So I hope you see this. If you are the amazing person that gifted me these items, just know they meant the world to me. And there is one thing in particular in your box that was like almost like sent from heaven. It has this really supernatural meaning that you would have no idea. So if you sent that package, just know that you made my entire Christmas break. And thank you so, so, so much. And um, I wish I had a way to contact you personally. And thank you. I don't, um, but thank you. Thank you so much. Ariana, may I ask what fashion you're wearing around your torso? Well, you can vintage show and tell, but see, the thing is, I dress for, like, here up. So, like, <laughs> it doesn't look that cute from here down. That's not the point, okay? No, but this is just a really cute, like, collared shirt. And then I put this little um, crocheted vest on over it. That's what I did. Okay? Okay. And Redheaded Kitty Cat is moderating for us tonight. Thank you so incredibly much, Redheaded Kitty Cat. Um, hopefully I won't bog you down too much tonight, but I always try to get you a little gift. So tonight's little gift, I wasn't able to like go and get you like something amazing this week or last week, but I did find this really pretty Florenza metal vintage little keepsake. This would be good to put your rings on. 
by your sink. All the rhinestones are there. I love the pink and green. Hi, Heather. Happy New Year. So this is for you, redheaded kitty cat. Thank you so much for donating your time to me and our friends tonight. It means the world. So thank you so, so much. Um, I think this is the part where I talk businessy. I heard that if you want to like, what's the word? Induce power. Is that the word? If you want to get power and be a powerful woman, when you speak, you want to peek your fingers. I heard that somewhere. So this is my business voice. Hello, welcome to the Withering Cottage. My name is Ariana and I take this extremely seriously. I, I love my job and I love each and every one of you. I'm live here on this channel every Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, unless I or my tiny human have the flu. And in that case, we are completely selfish and we do not attend and I apologize. Um, I use PayPal for invoicing and pirate ship for shipping, okay? I use pirate ship because it gets you the, the most affordable rates possible. Um, yes, if you are a new buyer, please send me an email to the dot withering dot cottage at gmail.com with your real name, your YouTube name, and your physical home address. At this time, I do only take PayPal as a form of payment. It's safe for me and it's safe for you. No, just in cases. Uh ah, nope. Oh, sorry, Laura. No, just in cases. There's nothing wrong with just in cases. We just don't do them over here. Uh, cause I took a vote and the friend said, no, uh -uh, not for us on this channel. So we don't do that. Um, once you receive your invoice, if you could please pay it within 48 hours, that would be stupendous. I would really greatly appreciate it. Um, shipping is not, how long am I supposed to do this for? Have I gotten your empowerment? That's not a word. Normally, when I talk to you guys on Tuesdays, I haven't talked to an adult for like one week. It's been three, so how long am I supposed to do this? Do you get it? Am I in charge? Take me seriously. I think I can put my hands down now. Um, shipping's not included in the cost of your items. It just depends on where you live and how big your box is. So when you're offering up on something, just know that shipping's not included. That is an additional fee. I don't charge any extra handling stuff. It's just exactly what it costs to get you your items. Um, I ship from the Bodunks of Georgia, y'all. <laughs> and what else is there? Oh, if you haven't done this before, it's super easy. First and foremost, welcome in to the chaos. And um, all you have to do is I'm going to hold something up. This is an example. I'm going to say, hey, look, you like this? You want this in your home? If you do, it's going to start at $10. And then redheaded kitty cat's going to say, well, no, that's a bad example because she's our bid ender. Redhead kitty cat is going to start, say, start $10 on this. And then Patty Rose is going to say, well, I like that. So I'm, I'm offering 12. And she's just going to type in the number 12 into the chat. But then Vincent Show and Tell is going to be like, you know what, Patty? No, I want that. So she's going to say 14. So on and so forth. Then I'm going to start a 15 second countdown. And at the end of the countdown, Redhead kitty cat is going to put in a bid end. And when she does, the highest offer above the bid end is gonna get it. Don't say that word, Smith. You're gonna get me shut down, man. This is Diet Coke, man. I feel like you're being kind of a narc right now. No, sir. Hi, Evelyn, by the way. Evelyn, if you're watching. Have I missed anything? Are we ready? I got a, I got a mixture tonight, but I will tell you, it's a lit, a yittle. A little heavy on the Victorian. Just a little. Oh, this is my Withering Cottage box. It's a wooden box my sister had made for me. See, it says the Withering Cottage. And I draw my numbers out of here. Because it stresses me out to, to figure out what... Hi, Evelyn. Uh, to what I'm going to sell next. Oh! Told you I'm new here. I got two giveaways tonight. I got one for the friends that purchase and one for anybody that watches. Fun. Okay, so we'll start with the open one. Now, I'm addicted to this. Um, lucky for y'all, I'm addicted to this. Hi, Margaret. So this is called Ring Bomb. 
Pretty sure it's like a pansy scheme, but I like it. So don't, don't judge me, okay? So when I purchase these, they're mysteries. I don't know what they are. So I, I don't get to pick what I get. Oh, I didn't mean to grab this one. Okay, well, I was going to keep this one. Um, I really liked this one, but I guess not. <laughs> I guess it's coming to one of y'all. So this is lab. It's a size eight. I've never worn it. I just bought it. And I was going to keep this one. Oopsies. Um, this one is lab grown fire opal on rhodium plating and the suggested MSRP of this is 188, 188 suggested MSRP and it is lab grown black fire opal and it is a size eight and it is two bands. So this is going to be for everybody at the end of the sale. You do have to be here in order to possibly win this gorgeous ring. So that is the giveaway for everybody, everybody Wang Chung tonight. And then the giveaway for if you purchase is one of my favorite purse designers. I love her purses. She's one of my favorites. Um, is this gorgeous leather riveted, isn't it riveting? Uh, Patricia Nash bag. Now, if you don't know who Patricia Nash is, put her in your Googler. I love her leather bags. They're some of my favorite. It has a very long adjustable crossbody strap. And it is very clean. It is pre-loved, but you wouldn't really know it. And then here is her little Patricia Nash marking there and there. And then here is the interior tag, Patricia Nash. She makes beautiful luxury handbags because we all like purses. And this is a good one for like flea marketing or garage sailing. This is a good size. And it's just a cute little side throw over piece. I think it's beautiful, very clean on the inside. So this is gonna be the giveaway if you purchase tonight. One out of the 30 purchasers, if we sell out, is gonna win this Patricia Nash bag. And then just anybody who's watching at the end has the opportunity to win this ring bomb ring. Are we ready now? Sweet and riveting for sure. 16, what's that mean? Well, my mother came over earlier to help me drop, to, uh, drop off her mom's minute items and my mom kind of put this together. So this is gonna start at $14, please, redheaded kitty cat. And it is this cute little lot. Now, the first item you're gonna be getting is this Dolly's Sterilizer. Now, I don't know what it was, but I love it. So it says Dolly Sterilizer, just like a beauty shop. And it's got bunnies and puppies. And what is that, a lamb and a cat. And it is in pink and blue, very 50s. And it also does come with its original lid. So it's blue on the top and pink on the belly. So you are getting the lid with the vintage, oh, it's metal, it's like tin. Little Dolly sterilizer. And then inside it's filled with corresponding 1950s beauty gear. So you can amp up your style for 2024. First item is this pearly longer wearing nylon Super lifts for your heels. Very 1950s font. You're getting three Le Jack face powders. Still in their original little sleeves. You're getting cushion tip bobby pins. This would just look really cute in a bathroom in your vintage themed bathroom. This one I love, Flamingo. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? And then you're getting Lovely Lady. Look at that foreshadowing. Lovely Lady Bobby Pins. Tiptoe Curlers. Stay Right. But how many different makers of Bobby Pins were there? My goodness. Stay right, bobby pins. Trico peds. Stockings. 
stockings. And last but not least, majorette nylon hairnet. Look at that graphic. For your 1950s bathroom. So you're getting, oh, and let me show you this with the lid on it, just so you can see. How cute. How cute. Grew up calling them Barbie pins. Okay, I have a question for you guys. What do you call, because I, I swear, everybody calls this something different, and I've never heard anybody else call them what I call them. What do you call the elastic thing, you know what I'm talking about, that you put your hair up with? I can't say too much because I don't want to give away what you call it. You know the elastic thing that you tie your hair up in? What do you call that? What do you call that? Hair binder, scrunchy, hair tie. That's a very southern one, hair tie. You got a hair tie. Scrunchy. We're going to count this down while I read them. Rubber band. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one bid and hi melody i told you there's so many different names chongo a chongo i like that one chongo. we got rubber band ponies hair tie twist tie twisty hair elastic pon ponytail holder hair band chongo rubber band so that whole lot is going to, oh, let me just do something. Amy will yell at me if she knew I was in the wrong thing. Don't yell at me. Vintage Rose UA. Thank you so much, Vintage Rose UA. Have you, have we worked together before? We may have, I just may have forgotten. I may have forgotten. Do y'all wanna know what I call it? And I swear, I swear, if my mom's here, she'll justify for me. We've called it this since I was a kid. That's called a hair pretty. Excuse me, do you have a hair pretty? We have, okay, perfect. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, they're hair pretties. Hair pretties, obviously. Okay. All right, this next item is gonna start at $10 and you're getting three items. And this, these are special because they're rocks. <laughs> And who doesn't like a good rock? You know? Who doesn't like a good rock? So we're going to start. You're getting all three starting at $10. I know this is a bit random. But I love rocks. So my, you might like rocks. And what I do with my rocks real quick before I show you them. Is I put them in a glass case. Like a jewelry case. Or on top of my vanity. And I drape my bracelets over them. Or my necklaces or my rings, just to kind of fancy it up, you know? So this is the first one. I don't know what it's called other than a rock, but it's a pretty rock, and it's got lots of crystals in there. I'm sure this is one of the ones where like, if you smashed it open, like a geode, you would find some really cool things in there. There's the underbelly, but look how beautiful the inside of this is. And this is a Sizely Rock. But these look beautiful with like your bracelets draped over them. Um, or just in clusters of three in general. So this is the first one. It's about this size compared to my head. I feel like I have a pretty average head. The second one is another geode. But look at this one. It's like a little cave. That would be cute. See, let me show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you take off your ring... Look how you can display your rings for your Etsy photographs or what, whichever else, or just for your own life. Isn't that fun? And this one you could probably smash, op smash open more and find way pretty things in there. Now my ring won't go back on, but gorgeous. And then the third one is this tiny little geode. And this one's got the white crystals. The white crystals. Druzies. Druzies. So you're getting the big rock, the medium rock, and the teeny tiny rock. All 
three rocks. And I see Samantha in at 15. Thank you so much, Samantha. And I do promise they're prettier in person. I promise. But we are going to start the countdown on the three of these. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rock bit end. There was a lot of puns I could have said during all that, and I didn't, so you're welcome. Because they were there on the tip of my tongue. What is my ring? It is a stag. A stag or a deer. Unsure how to differentiate. But it's a deer stag. Could be a reindeer. Not sure. Samantha Richer. You got it, Samantha. I hope you had a good new year. I really do. And thank you so much, Samantha Richer. It's an elk ring from Elkton. I don't think it's an elk. It's a little too thin to be an elk, I think. Number six. Ooh, this was in my reel. This was in my reel. And I wish that I knew more about this piece because I'll tell you what, I did put it in my Googler. This is one of those pieces that I've had a really long time because I just couldn't pinpoint the price. So we're just going to wing it. I love it. Um, I There's a couple of my items tonight. I do have to start just a little higher. This is going to be one of them. I am going to start it at 45. I do believe that it is teetering Victorian. Um, and I do believe also, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, because I've been wrong plenty. I believe that this is a humidor, right, for your tobacco. So, it is amazing. Now, where to start? Okay, so, at first, on this little section over here, we have this beautiful cherub baby. But what I love is this cherub isn't like chunky in the sense of like cherub babies. It really, to me, looks more like a fairy than a cherub. And it has more fairy wings than like angel wings. And is holding a bird. And this is very heavy in and of itself. It's some kind of bronze or pot metal. Here, and look at the detail just to this under plate right here. Absolutely beautiful, very Art Nouveau, all the way around. Gorgeous patina. Patina, do you know her? She's lovely. And I love how it just gently tilts back. And then the jar itself is a little cut beveled glass jar. <laughs> no markings on the bottom. And then the lid is just beautiful. And I believe that this was made to hold your tobacco for your pipes and such such as. Um, and it's a very ornate and just beautiful thing. I've never seen another one like it. Um, I think I got this in Tennessee, possibly. But just absolutely different and beautiful. I mean, what would we put in this? Huh? Cotton balls? Uh... -uh. This would be really cool for paint water. Is that bad? For your paintbrushes? That'd be so fancy. I just think it's beautiful. Very unique. And I love the wings. The fairy wings. And no breaks or anything that I see. And again, gorgeous natural patina. We love a good patina. But we are going to start the countdown on this piece. So 15, 14... 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year! That's going to be so hard not to do every time tonight. Bid end, I mean. Bid end. Hi, Jana. Bid end on the humidor. Oh my lord. I've missed you guys so very much. D, you did it, D. Congratulations and thank you so much. I like your puppy on your picture.
I love dogs. Thank you so much, Dee. What's your dog's name? You're going in for the Patricia Nash purse. I can't guarantee you'll get it, but you're in there. You're in there. Thank you so much, Dee. Number 19. This is another piece <laughs> that I've been hoarding because I really like it. So, we're going to start this off at $18. Not so much because of the main part, but because of the little She's named Oreo. Hi, Oreo, if you're watching. Hi. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the first piece. It's very, cause I know I could show them to you together, but I like to build up the suspense. Okay, so starting at 18, we have a pair of vintage full armed gloves. They come up to pass my elbow. They're very clean. I guess I should be able to, they're about 24 inches, okay? And they have these beautiful pearl buttons on them. You could wear them if you really wanted to. If you have very long and slender fingers, I imagine they would work for you. But these look great just kind of draping out of a jewelry box or over the back of a chair to like make your house just a little, if you're looking for that little Victorian vibe, you know, these are nice, but for me, it's not about these. These are coming for you, with you, but it's not about these. It's about this. Look at this amazing glove clip. Now, hand things are super hard to find and they are very desirable. And I love this glove clip. So it has this, you can see the little glove here in the fingers, it has the Victorian ring right there. And then here is the little clip that you would clip on to like your little, what is that called? Like your busset, bustle, your bustle, your belt. And you would clip your gloves onto there and then you just have them. Isn't that cool? But these are, this is a beautiful pair extremely well made. I love the rings. A lot of times too, if you find hand stuff, if you find hand stuff, the hands can be a little chunky and a little like manly. No disrespect to any men out there, but these are, this is a very good delicate example of the female hand. And even if you wanted to wear it as a necklace or just, I don't know anything. I love it. I think it is so cool. So cool, and it does clip. So you could clip your gloves and hit the road, Jack, and you're good to go. But I love them. I think they're super fun, really different, and they're in really good condition. The patina on them is beautiful too. I love them, I really do. That's why I've hoarded them as long as I have. I see Antique Agenda in at 28. Thank you so much, Heather. We are gonna start the countdown. You are getting the gloves, but the main character is definitely this clip. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Rachel, I hope you're feeling better. I hope you're feeling better. I love this. <laughs> See, I have an irrational emotional attachment to things. Yes. Yes, I do. Melody. A melody. You got it. Thank you so much. And thank you to everybody. Thank you, everybody. Hey, Rachel. Hey, hey, Rachel. No, I haven't been to show and tell. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. But I did get her Eunice taken out. So I'm not the worst, but I'm not the best. <laughs> Rachel, why could the lifeguard not save the hippie? I should have asked Belgian Heidi that. Belgian Heidi, why could the lifeguard not save the hippie? Thank you so much, Melody. Number 17. Mm -hmm. 
Do you give up? <laughs> because it was too far out, man. Close. Close, Heidi. But because he was too far out, man. Too far out. You got it, Violet. You got it. All right. I love this next item. Like, love it. This is another item I don't really want to sell. But, you know, we got to do big girl things sometimes. Now, this box and this cross were not born together. I have married them into this. And I think they're perfect for one another. So, this is going to start at $16. And I love this box, first and foremost. This is an amazing box. So this is a antique leather presentation box. I love that wear. Just shows me it's had a little life. It is leather and it is a push button. And the push button does still work. And look at that lovely hinge right there. So lovely. And then you push it and it pops open and it's got this gorgeous blue silk liner. Now I will tell you that there are some age spots um, on the silk liner, you can see it up there. And it is a little deeper blue on the top than on the bottom. But the reason why I paired it with this cross is because when I purchased this box, look at that fade line. Do you see the sun fade? You can totally tell that it did hold a cross and it is three dimensional. So it does sit up and it's got a little wire here that's original too. So when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, I have the perfect cross to put in there. Now this cross is so beautiful. It's got all this gorgeous white and blue detailing under the, I don't know if that's acrylic or I'm not sure what the clear is but then the crucifix the jesus is in a pot metal and you can turn this into a rosary or a necklace it does have its little loop or you could separate them but i just thought the blue of the box and the blue of the cross looked beautiful together and it makes just quite the presentation does it not it's kind of morbidy funerally to me but I liked that and it's beautiful and the cross is pretty large it's about two and a half inches by one and a half inches so it's a pretty sizely cross and I wish I could get you a little bit more of the details in there it's got roses there's blue roses on every corner it's just a stunning piece and it comes in the box snapshot but we are <laughs> Pop middle Jesus, yeah. We are gonna start the countdown on this little pairing. Thank you guys so much. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. I really had to fight not to say Happy New Year. I did. I did. Boop, boop, boop. That piece is going to Lisa Jens. You did it. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Lisa Jens, that's coming your way. Lisa, question for you. What was more, what was a more useful invention than the first telephone? What was a more useful invention than the first telephone? You're welcome. Sajiro, you're a genius. You got it. Good job, Amy. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. All right, up next, we have a choice. Ah, oh, don't we love a choice? You get to choose things. That's always a good time. Electricity. <laughs> All right, so we have a choice. And these are gorgeous. These are lovely. These are gorgeous, lovely, and all the things. They're gonna start at, I almost said 50. No, 
These are going to start at $20 choice. Wow, what a discount. So, you are choosing between two brooches. Purple and blue. So, here is the first one. They both are 1950s in period. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. This first one is a lovely purple and aurora borealis prong set rhinestone floral brooch it is a lovely like deep burgundy reddish purple and it's it's sizely look at that definitely 1950s and here's the back you can see those gorgeous rivets they just gorgeous rivets aren't they Joan Rivets would love this. It's prong set. It's gorgeous. I don't believe it's missing any stones. Nope. And it goes from a deep, deep purple to like a light pink to a lighter purple to Aurora Borealis and then back to that same light purple. And if you haven't heard me say this before, brooches, <laughs> scoff. You don't like to wear them? That's no fun. Put them on your curtains on your shower curtains, on your living room curtains, on your lampshades. Jazz up your house, make it fancy. And then when the light comes through, they sparkle, sparkle. And these big ones stand out pretty significantly. So that's the first choice. And then I wish Katie was here, Katie Vintage and Vinyl, because I sent her a picture when I found these brooches and she really liked this one. So I feel kind of bad. I wish she was here because I feel like she would maybe pick this one up. I have this one. This one is very Katie, and it is, I don't know the maker of this one, but I will tell you, I did look up some comparisons, and it is contributed to a designer, but this one's not signed, so I'm not going to say, but the stone in the center, it's getting a little washed out right now, but it is a deep blue, so it's about the same color as the exterior ones. I just scanned all the lampshades. Where can I put my brooches? And then this one has amazing puddling on the back. And that stone on the back is open. But that puddling is beautiful. And this is very large too. And where do you see square brooches? You know what I'm saying? Where do you see square brooches? So you're choosing between the blue square and the purple flower both gorgeous both gorgeous but we're gonna start the countdown we're do we're doing it so 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 and this one's three-dimensional i don't know if i told you that it kind of goes inward seven six five four three two and one bid end margaret's here she takes no mercy no mercy in this dojo hey what a day rose boop, 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 boop. isn't it unique heidi all right we've got melody melody southern buckeye which one can i get you dear would you like are you feeling blue, Dabu Diba? Or are you feeling purple? I don't know what. Purple rain. Purple rain. Purple rain. They're both lovely. Hard choice. I'm going to say you want this one. That's my guess. I like guessing. If I'm wrong, though, that's okay. I don't mind being wrong. I don't want to be right. What is a mouse's favorite book? Tis Blue! I was right. You got it. Congratulations. Melody did it. Four, forty-three. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Melody. Now, what a day. No, wrong. Eh. Lisa. Psst, Lisa. Did you not hate this one? Did you want this one? You can say no. You can totally say no. But you're next, so you get dibsies. 
You got it. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Lisa. She did it. For 27. What is a mouse's favorite book? Great expectations. It's not that good. Just so y'all know, I didn't like make these up. And oddly enough, like I'd say 50% of them are about cheese. Like, what is the name of the latest cheese nursery rhyme? Monterey Jack and Jill. They're just, there's so much cheese. What do you call cheese in a warm coat? Toasty. Why did Lewis, when I bought these, they didn't say, hey, you like cheese? You want to know jokes about cheese? They didn't say that. Why did Lewis Hamilton have too much cheese? Because he won the Grand Brie. Oh my gosh, the next one's about cheese too. What are the chances? Did you hear about the cheese in a top hat? I don't get this one. Did you hear about the cheese in a top hat? It was a Swiss cheese. I got nothing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right, this next item right here is still on at $12 and it is an antique chocolate box. It's just a box, so there's no chocolate inside. So don't expect there to be chocolate. I know, I don't get it either, Vintage Show and Tell. Mm. Um, but it's a lovely chocolate box nonetheless. You could put chocolate in it once you get it, if you wanted to. But this is too, also, technically ephemera. Because this was something that was meant to be just chucked out with the dirty dishes. Chuck it outside. And they wouldn't last, right? I mean, imagine like nowadays you go into the Walmart and get in your Snickers and you keep in the wrapper. You wouldn't do that, but they would with this because this is amazing. So this is more than likely a French paper. <laughs> no, what do they call paper? Papier. A French papier chocolate box. So I tied this beautiful silk ribbon around it love this ribbon and I love how vibrant these colors still are and how they decided to colorize the blues in her dress and in her ribbon look at that look at that I'm gonna take this off we're gonna look inside because I do believe there was a bit of a provenance in there so it says dad's handkerchief and brother Etta's tie now that would be like after the fact because I don't think this is a handkerchief box. I do believe that this is a chocolate box. But this would be an amazing gift box if you know somebody who likes antiques or vintage or just a lovely display. It's about nine and a half by seven inches. I'm going to tie it back up. I think they're beautiful. I don't see them a lot because they are ephemera. They weren't really meant to be kept and cherished. And I was happy to find this one at an estate sale. And I think the ribbon is just so pretty with it. And with her tinted lips. Hi, Karen. It's just lovely. And I like it quite a bit. I do, and her blue eyes. But just a lovely paper chocolate box. Papier. We are gonna start the countdown on this. Thank you ladies so very much. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year. Bit end. It's really hard not to do that. It's just, it's like I have to do it. I can't control myself. Purdy pansies. You did it. Congratulations. Uh, Purdy pansies, usually, um, I do allow you to outbid yourself just because it's not fair to the other bidders, but that was so close to the bid end, and I think the 27 was a mistake, so I'm going to let you have it for the 17 because I think that's fair because it wasn't like a ploy, you know what I mean? So 
I'm gonna let you do it for 17. Cause I don't see anybody higher. 17. Thank you so much, Purdy's Pansies. Purdy's Pansies. Purdy's Pansies. Thank you, Purdy's Pansies. <gasps> Number one. Oh, this one's my favorite. I think. Okay, so this one has been hanging up in my house for quite some time, and it's okay. I'm I'm willing to get rid of it. Um, but I just found another piece where this piece was in spaces limited in my home. Um, but I love this. It's amazing. It's fantastic. And, um, it's fantastic. And it is one of the higher star items I've probably ever done. Uh, but if you put it in your Googler, you know, which I, I don't know why I say that, but if you do, you know that it's a good deal. Okay. Maybe either way, it's gorgeous. And it's starting at a hundred dollars. I do have to stand up for this piece. So it's starting at $100. And I am a little sad to see it go, but it will be okay. Um, I'm gonna do it the very, the very like, dun, 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 suspenseful way. Ding, 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 ding. So, it is gorgeous. It has this amazing gold, gessoed frame and look at this oh shut your butt right now this is fantastic so this is a this would be a vintage craft okay so you would they took this amazing victorian frame and someone put together this rhinestone tree now, you can come across these and they're really poor quality and they didn't do a very good job. This one is not one of those. And this is pretty sizely. This is a very large piece of artwork. So if you zoom in, this is made solely out of rhinestone jewelry. It's not made out of like filler jewelry, like chains or, um, you know, just, broken earrings it's all like real rhinestone brooches and even the tree base at the bottom is made completely out of rhinestones and i had this in my bathroom and it is a sparkler um it's gorgeous to look at when you're like if you have like lamp lighting in your bathroom it just sparkles and it's really pretty to look at when you're getting ready, which is what I did. Uh, and then the backing is a green felt and the frame itself is in really good condition. And it does have a way to hang it here. And there's no, from what I can see, missing stones or missing um, pieces. And under it, the entirety of the under the rhinestones is pearls. So it's three dimensional. So under all of those rhinestones is an entire layer of pearls. It is velvet. Did I say felt? <laughs> it's velvet. Goes in any decor. It really does though, because it's mid century, it's Victorian, it's antique, it's vintage. It's all the things and it's beautiful. And the quality and the workmanship is just astounding, if I say so myself. And the frame, too, is beautiful. Astounding. Thank you so much, Lisa. We are going to start the countdown, dear. We sure are. Thank you, Patty. I see you in at 110. It is absolutely beautiful. So we're going to start the countdown. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, bid end. And I will package it to the very, 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 very best of my abilities. It is kind of heavy though, just a little, cause it's like metal, you know, it's metal. <gasps> I can't look. 
Who's going to get it? Merry Christmas, Barb. Happy New Year, dear. So, Grace 2010H got it. Congratulations and thank you so much. That is a very cool piece. I have enjoyed it for quite some time, so I hope that it sparks you joy. Thank you so much. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. How about we do number nine, shall we? Shall we? Okay. <clears throat> Let's just start these at. What? Where's Pee Wee? I finally got some Murano, and Pee Wee's not even here. It's not a Murano chandelier, though. All right. We're going to start these at $18 choice. I am doing choice, but they do look really, really good together. Um, and they're just gorgeous and simple and elegant, and I love them. Um, let's see. Where to start? So, the very first piece, and I'm sorry, it is a little dusty. Let me dust it. Let me just clean it up for you real quick. So, this is the first piece. And it is a gorgeous Murano Latticino glass bowl. Now, I will do my darndest to show you guys the detail. Mind you, this is glass. How? How does this work? The detail in this piece. So, you see the big white Latticino, but do you see the teeny Latticino around that? And then the pink twisting with the gold edging. I mean, it looks like a fishnet stocking. Can you see how delicate that is? Let me put this behind there. Nope, that made it worse. Look at the delicacy of that. That's glass. That is insanity. And it is a little ruffled bowl. This would look beautiful with those little glass candies in it. And it does have a little footed base and it another like I don't hear people talk about it a lot but another way to tell a good quality piece of glass is if it's symmetrical like this like when it's just so centered I mean obviously it has to be centered to make this effect around the exterior but it's just the workmanship on this piece is just honestly spectacular so this is the first choice and then the second choice which hard choice Hard, hard choice is the bottle. Now, the bottle does not have a stopper, but I was feeling, and it doesn't necessarily feel ground in there like it would. More than likely, it probably did have a stopper, um, but it doesn't have one now. But again, look at that latticino detailing, that like fishnet stocking. That's glass, so that's just craziness. And then the pink are spiraling. So you got two different patterns of glass going on at once. No chips or cracks on either piece. There's a little. And then there's the bottom of this one. It makes it makes me think like a little um what do you call that? Like a little Hey? Huh? You know, uh -huh. the thing where you wash your hands in, like you put your water in there and then a little bison. A bison. I don't know, but they're both beautiful and they look gorgeous together. They're beautiful pieces. Absolutely stunning. I picked these up at an estate sale and they're gorgeous. But we are gonna start the countdown on choice. You can choose the bottle or the bowl. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. But then finger bowl and crew it, yes, to like rinse your little fingies, you know? So pretty. The details just craziness. Craziness. Jill, you did it, Jill. 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 Which one? 
or ones. Can I send to you, my sweet friend? Would you like the bowl, the bottle, or the combo? Hard choice. Tough choice. Tough, tough choice. Both. <laughs> I'm so happy they're staying together. Thank you, dear. Those are coming to you. Jill did it. Jill Swainy. Thank you so much, Jill. Thank you, thank you. And congratulations. Those are gorgeous. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. All right. This next combo, combo item, combination item, doesn't necessarily make sense together, but does anything I bring ever? So we'll just go with that. This is going to start, the pair of them are going to start off at $16. $16. And the first item in this pairing, you're getting two pieces. And this says, Freeman Girl, me this in? That's what I feel like it says. Freeman Girl, me this in, 1918. I have no idea. So it is Oh my gosh, this would look, so this piece is already sold, but how good would this look with this chocolate box? How did I miss that? Oopsies, live and you learn. But it is this beautiful little um, 1918 photograph that has also been tinted blue with a little girl and her flowers. It is behind glass. And then there's the thing in the back, Freeman Girl. And I think it says, me this in. 1918 me this in 1918 and it still has this original hanger right there so that is the first piece and then the second piece is this and i love this it's just one of those things where it was like never seen one so do i hoard it or do i bring it to you guys so i'm gonna bring it to you guys a children's antique micro mosaic bracelet this is so yittle now i know that wrists were smaller back in the day but this is just so dainty this is two and a half inches closed so that would be don't don't do that six inches all the way open and it does have its original clasp but look at the gorgeous micro mosaics now this is the real micro mosaic where they are the teeny teeniest tiniest of little um inserts it's not chunky it's not poorly done it's really dainty and just so fine and pretty and even the closure is very early and it is marked made in italy made in italy on the clasp right there and I just thought with the picture of the little girl and then the little micro mosaic children's bracelet that they made a really sweet little pairing together kind of like tells a little story you can pretend it was hers I don't know I just thought they looked really nice together but we are going to start the countdown on the two of those and I promise this bracelet is beautiful in person um unless you have micro bracelets for your micro or your <laughs> unless you have micro wrists for this micro micro mosaic bracelet um it is very small but beautiful nonetheless but we are going to start the countdown on the pair of these so 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 five four three two and one big end i don't have any tonight tippy wings i'm sorry dear i will be getting some valentine's day though i will be getting some valentine's day ones though i think i think that's crossed Jamie Grafton, where's my number? How rude. I lost my, my number. Go. Go. 
Let's see if I can't find it. Thank you so much, Jamie. I'm sorry I lost where I was. Please forgive me. Where did it? Is it over here? Is it over here? No. I'm sorry. How embarrassing. Okay, here it is. Jamie Grafton. I've got you down on my special piece of paper. Congratulations and thank you so much. I just want to make sure you're in here. That I didn't lose the number. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Well, I'll be. It was under my ruler that whole time. That sneaky number. Why did the Dalmatian go to the eye doctor? Because he kept seeing spots. next piece is it in perfect condition absolutely not am I no are you probably not but I'm not here to judge it's gorgeous that's all I have to say but it does have damage and that's why it's starting at $14 which which when you see this purse $14 for this crazy I know but it's gonna take a special person because it's got damage it's gonna take someone like me <laughs> so up next we have this gorgeous Victorian hand beaded well shouldn't say Victorian because this could also be 1920s antique hand glass beaded purse now the purse you see the bottom do you see the bottom okay it's got some strings it's missing a couple of its dangly bits right there and then here you can see some separation of the beading and there as well on the back you can see some separation from the beading but look at the closure here absolutely beautiful original chain glass beads and it's like hot pink when do you see hot pink now what I do with these a little like I wish I had like a pink interior design with the withering woman what I would do with this and what I have done and what I do do Okay, first of all, though, gorgeous an internal liner. I'm trying to see if I see any silver marks. Do I? Oh, there is a mark. What do you say? Main? Main? I don't know. It's over here. It is marked. But what I do with these, I can't read it. It says main, made, no, nope, made in. I really can't read it. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be sneaky. It says made in somewhere. But interior design, here we go. You take your fake plant, you put it in there. Then you hang this on the wall like that. In your bathroom, in your foyer, in your bedroom, anywhere you want. How cool is that? Or hang your gloves out of it or your antique postcards or whatever you want but it's an amazing wall pocket okay up to your little heart's desire and it's structurally still good it just is losing some of its beads but the strap is good the frame is good and the liner is okay the liner is okay. And it does have original little pocket right there. But it is beautiful and I love this closure. Very unique. But we, oh, and it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Eight by six. And we're gonna start the countdown on this. So, oh, also, sorry, I have ADHD. This is metal, right? So, let me just get this real quick. I wonder, look at here, let's see if this works. You get your antique ephemera, not this, magnet, boom, display it like that too. Either way, we're going to show the countdown, I'll include that magnet too, just for fun. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Beautiful. Beautiful. Drape that gently, gingerly. Dusty Moose. Thank you so much, Dusty. Congratulations. Dusty Moose. You're going in for the giveaway. If you guys joined in kind of late, we do have two giveaways tonight. We have one for if you purchase and one just if you're here. So this is the one if you purchase. It is this gorgeous Patricia Nash leather little satchel. Really good condition. It is pre-loved, but very clean. And then the giveaway for anybody that's here is this ring bomb ring. Don't come for me. I know it's a Ponzi scheme. Okay, I like it anyways. <laughs> it is a size 8 lab grown black fire opal rhodium plating suggested MSRP is 188. So this is going to be for the giveaway for anybody at the end of the sale. Really pretty new at tags. So there's that one. Just wanted to tell you in case you missed that. In case you missed it, the moose is loose. All right, what's next? Let's do some fun, universe. Well, this is kind of fun. I'm going to need a flashlight. All right, this is cool. So this is a glass negative. It's going to start at $8. $8 for this glass negative. Are you blown away? Do you love it? I hope I'm going to be able to show you guys. Um, I did post it in my reel, and you can see it really good there. <laughs> but it is just a sheet of glass. You can see the negative on the back. And what it is, it, well, I already told you what it is. But what I do with these is I put them in my windowsill. Because when the light comes through, you can really see the image. I'm going to try it with this, but it's a UV light, so it doesn't work quite the same as natural sunlight. Oh, that's not bad. So it is these two Victorian young girls in a window. And my favorite part about this is, hang on. There's two favorite parts, okay. This one is holding a cat, which I'm not sure if you can tell. Let me try it backwards. She is holding the family's pet cat. There you go. Do you see? And then she is holding a Victorian doll. And they're just posing in their window. This is a real negative, so it's not a reproduction or a mass produced thing. There's probably only this in the entire world. Not like amping it up, but just, I think that's so cool that it's a one of a kind. And I love that cat. Where'd you go, cat? There he is. Meow. And the doll. And it's hard to find animals captured in this time period. And the doll is just so cool. And I love that it's kind of eerie. Um, really cool for Halloween too, if this isn't like your everyday vibe. Uh, but it is completely glass, which is just, it's just cool. I really like it. But we are gonna start the countdown. Thank you, Purdy Pansies. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bid in. I was crushed by a pile of falling books the other day. I guess I only have my shelf to blame. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna set this over here. I don't want to break it. Purdy pansies, you got it, dear, for 32. Congratulations and thank you, Purdy pansies. Thank you, dear. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. My grandfather has the heart of a lion and a lifetime ban at the zoo. That one's weird. That one's weird. 
All right, this next pairing is missing. No, I found it. Is exactly that, a pair. Do they go together? No. Do they now? Yes, they do. So, I have no idea of Pretty Pansies. I have no idea how that survived. All right, so this pairing is going to start off at $16. And both of these were mine at one time, and now they could be yours. First and foremost, we have Baby Life. And there's one picture in here, particularly, that I had displayed open to in my dog cabinet. Now, this book is patented November 22nd, 1887. 1887 by Worthington Co. 1887. And then look at the back. Now, I will go ahead and preface by saying that the interior of the book has come free from the cover. Okay? But it's from 1887. So, like, makes sense. But look at the cover page. So cute. But let... I'm not going to show you everything, okay? Because I kind of want it to be a surprise. But let me show you... My favorite page. Well, I have a few. First of all, look at this cat page. What is going on with this? So freaking cute. Absolutely love it. And there are illustrations on every page of this book. There it is. Like, look at that. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So fun. Neil's portrait. Just beautiful. So this is the first one. Okay. Baby Life, 1887. And then I'm going to include it with this storybook doll. Now, we see storybook dolls, you know. We see them. They're out there. But have you ever seen a Nancy Ann storybook baby? And she's not plastic. She's the older one. She is composite. And, and... She comes with her original Nancy Ann doll stand. It is marked on the bottom. Nancy Ann Storybook Dolls Incorporated, San Francisco, California. And she has her original diaper, safety pin. She is composite. She's got her large little, what is that? Chiffon. Her chiffon dress and her pink little bow. Adorable and she's tiny her dress is big, but the doll itself is actually pretty small, but look at them together oh, Am I frozen? Am I frozen did I come back? I'm back I was wondering why you guys didn't like my baby. I love this baby I'm back look at my baby I don't know what y'all heard, but let me just start over by saying, okay, there's this book, 1887, but look, Nancy Ann, baby. Am I still freezing? I'm sorry. How dare me? Take me out in the back and beat me. Still no volume? No sound? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Good? Okay, cool. No sound. Dang it. All right. Well, what I was saying was, you're getting this book, 1887. And you're getting this Nancy Ann vintage baby. And she's not plastic, she's composite. And she's small, but look at the gorgeous little floofy dress. And she's in her original Nancy Ann storybook stand. And she's got her original diaper and safety pin. No breaks, no chips, no cracks, perfect condition. And she is, the doll itself is only four inches tall, but her dress makes her look so floofy and big. And look, she's got her original safety pin closure on her dress. And I mean, I've never seen another storybook baby. I'm just saying, but look at how cute they are together. Shush. 
That's adorable. That is so cute. I would totally have that in my house. And I totally did have that in my house. But I see little white quail and at 22. And we are going to start the countdown on the pair of these. So, oh, she's going to come back out. Let me know when you come back in. Let me know when you come back in, redheaded kitty cat. But she's adorable. Look at her big old dress. I love her. Amy, have you ever seen a storybook baby? Tell me. Okay. Are you back, redheaded kitty cat? This is like perfect thumbnail for me. Okay. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid end. I'm so sorry, guys, that I did that to you. That is very rude. I did not mean to. I really did not. It was an accident. And all is restored. I wonder what happened. Hi, designer duds, junkie, designer duds, junkie. I am so incredibly sorry about your invoice. I feel like a nincompoop, but I am so sorry. Designer duds, junkie. Thank you so much and congratulations. And I'm sorry, I'm a nincompoop. I'm sorry. All right. <gasps> Guess what's next? I just know a little. Not, 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 not much. Just a little bit. Um. I try to have a, I try to know a little bit just so if I ever need it, I can make someone feel included. And I was able to use it at the vet the other day, so that was pretty cool. I have the same baby. She's so cute. She is. All right. Up next, we have a weirdo lot. I love a good weirdo lot. Weirdo, take me away. I do have mom's minutes tonight. I just haven't drawn them yet. All right. Up next, we have a weirdo lot. And this is going to start at uh, $15 because someone might need this because I did. So you might. Dun, 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 dun. Do you love them? We got Peter Piper picked a pack of pickles. I just came up with that. Peter Piper picked pack pickles. So first thing, you're getting this. I don't know what this is. But it is a papier-mâché box, maybe for like your desk stuff, like your scissors and your pens and your pencils. Yeah, for the whole thing, Pee-wee. Um, and it's got the scene on there. I love the color. It's like that blue that we all love and like. And it is papier-mâché. So you're getting that mail holder. But look at all the weirdos that are coming in it. Hey. Huh? Isn't that cute? All right, so first one. Yeah, this little Mr. Panda. He does have a squeaker in him. No longer does squeak. He's got a very old tag made in Japan. I want to love you. He's got his original little tattered pink tie. Are you kidding me? Amazing. Then, I forget which one this was. Picked. Pack. Pickles? I don't remember. Then we got Mr. Flatback over here. Oh no, I don't have a butt. Very flat, but still super cool. Then we've got a one-eared Stife donkey. I do believe this is Stife, but I also am sure he's missing one of his ears, which is why he's wound up in the weirdo box. But I think someone sewed it, so like he was loved. They didn't just leave like a gaping hole in his head. Then we got another panda. And this one is straw filled. And he's grumpy. He's you a know, grumpy panda. And then we got little pickles over here. She's adorable. Love her. 
withered, tattered, torn, amazing. She's actually really not that bad. Um, she has flat feet, so she can she can stand. But she's only got a little bit of hair left on her head. I know, I love a barrel of misfits too. That's me, a barrel of misfits. So we got this one, this one, donkey, panda, other panda. It's a party. It's a party, it's a party, it's a party. Yeah. And I rescued all of them, individually actually. But we're gonna start the countdown on this. The bit is at 25 with Val M. Thank you, Val. Thank you so much for loving my little misfits. We love a bucket of misfits. So we're gonna start the countdown. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. I'm a good weirdo. You're not going to fit back under there, are you? What a day, Rose. You got it. Speaking of weird, I've done pretty good at staying in my seat this wholesale. I'm going to get up just real quick. I want to show you all something I'm working on. <laughs> and you tell me how much you hate it, okay? Hang on, wait a second. Now she's not done. Okay, she's not done. See, I'll be nice, okay? She's not done. She needs a caller. This is my new friend. So, what had happened was I... I had this and then I found this this is actually a salt shaker <laughs> at an estate sale and it had no head and I said can I buy this she said that has no head I said yes I'm well aware of that I have a head and she was perplexed but she sold it to me and I put her on the body of the bird and I just need to give her a collar but her name is gonna be parakeet I think don't she just look like a parakeet Parakeet. So that's my new obsession is gluing heads onto different things. So there might be some things like that coming. <laughs> She's so cool. And once I put the collar, it will look more cohesive. But I love her little feet. Yeah. That's what, this, this what I do in my free time. The body is made out of metal. I'm not sure what kind of metal, just like pot metal. Parakeet. Para for short. My good old friend Para. I love her. If I can ever finish her. Thank you so much, what a day. In a good way or bad way, Grace? That's true, Dusty, you did. We're soulmates. All right, up next, we have a kind of big item. And I'm going to try to move through it kind of quickly because it's pretty full. So starting at $24, we have this big mama jamma. It is this large blue skin and room for headless birds. Tell me if you find any designer junkie. We have this large Victorian celluloid photo album. It is velvet on the sides, crushed velvet. It is celluloid on the front. It does have a water stain right here. Could be coffee. I'm not really sure. Um, and then it's got this embossed celluloid front that says album. Now it does have its original hinge here and its original hinge here, but it doesn't have its original thing right there. And I think it's because this is so full, which is a lot of times why these are broken off because they didn't really account for like the sizes of the pictures um but overall pretty good condition it's not cracking that tends to happen with these pieces this one is not cracking these also look just beautiful on your coffee tables wrapped in like a big silk bow but inside it is full from beginning to end with photos i'm just going to go through it really quickly just so you can see 
I'm not gonna, I love those tights, by the way. Golly. This one does have a calling card in there. And a lot of the pictures, too, I do believe have provenance on the backs. Um, I'm not taking them out. And look at the, illust the illustrations of the butterflies. Are those dry butterflies? Butterflies. And the purple and the gold gilding. Babies. I will tell you, there's a lot of children in here. A lot of chillins in here. That creeped me out for a minute. I thought that baby had no face from like far back. That was weird. Oh, and this one is kind of a hidden mother. Can you see the mom's hand? Hmm. Fascinating. Look at that sweet baby. It is in really good condition. Now, there is some tearing throughout. Um, not uncommon. Look at that chair. Did that baby creep you out too, B? I thought he had no head. Look at those sweet twins. And that bassinet is so cool. And look at that little chunk of. Love it. Oh, congratulations, Pee Wee. And then we end with her. And that is an entire full Victorian photo album. Here at the Withering Cottage. Get yours today. Beautiful. ASMR. We are going to start the countdown on this at 15. Thank you so much, Val. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one bit end. This is kind of heavy. It's kind of heavy. Party pansies ain't playing around, folks. Now, pretty pansies, just to clarify, love, um, we don't do like just in cases or high bits that then fall back. So just to clarify, did you mean to put 112 because um it would have to be 112 for you, dear, just to be fair. Um, if you didn't know that, then that's totally okay, too. Um, I would just give it to the next highest offer, which would be Dusty at 46. So I will give you the option just in case you didn't know that. Um, but I just did it that one time because it was close and I thought it may have been a mistake. But I just want to make sure you know. You're sure? Okay. I definitely don't want to take advantage, so... Well, this is coming to you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you, Dusty. And thank you, Lisa. But congratulations, Party Pansies. That is a really cool color, too. I like the, um, the ombre of it. Thank you so much. Party Pansies. And your pretty pansies. And you're going in for the giveaway. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. We haven't done a mom's minute or a you pick yet. And I'm just flabbergasted. All right, this next piece. I told y'all we were heavy Victorian tonight. This is one that I've never, ever, never seen. And I've hoarded it, of course, naturally. Um, but now I'm bringing it. I am going to start it at 35 just because I think it's special. And I've been doing this gig for a while uh, about... 18 years I've been doing this. Never seen another one. Not saying they don't exist, but I will tell you, I put it in my Googler and none came up. So I do think it's special. So starting at, did I say 35? Yes. Is this amazing? Now I don't know the year, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking 20s, possibly. Could be a little later. But look at this piece right here. So this is a sterling silver duster with the original honest to goodness bird feathers. They're real feathers. Are, would that be a cardinal? Is that illegal? Y'all don't tell me. 
I didn't know. I plead the fifth. But it is marked sterling right here. It's marked sterling. And it has its original little hanger up there. But look at the gorgeous embossed lilies. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> And the amazing filigree design on the bottom. Now, I will say it's more than likely missing some feathers on the exterior right there. But a lot of them still are present. You can see. What is it? Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> and it is about 11 inches in height. And this is just stunning. The design work on this is insane. It is sterling, so you know that is a precious metal. It will hold its value um, with that, with it being sterling. And it's just so different. I know you don't almost want to clean with that. This is like the kind of thing where like you dress up as a maid. You know, we all do it. You dress up as a maid and you just go around your house in your high heels, dusting. Don't we all do that every Sunday? You know, or just na, 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 na. No, we don't do that. Measures, it's 11 inches. Just under 11 inches counting the feathers. If we don't count the feathers, it's seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter handle, almost 11. I was kidding, Rachel, I don't do that. I don't even own a pair of high heels, I don't think. I don't, but it's absolutely beautiful really good condition very unique and beautiful and it's not i don't know if it was supposed to be monogrammed right here but it's not it never was but there you go redheaded kitty cat not me i not 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 me i don't even show a forearm y'all are crazy if you think i'm gonna have that i don't have that i don't have that okay and i'm blushing i don't have that we're going to start counting on this real, real quick right now. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Put it in. I'm very modest. I could never. No judgment to those that do. I just could never. Because, like, I can't. I know, doesn't it? Be our guest, be our guest, head it high above the rest. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 I don't know. Yeah, wolves, it tends to do that around here. <laughs> Oops. Evie, Evie McPhee, you did it. Thank you so much and congratulations, dear. It's yours and it's very cool. I think so. Very cool. A little tassel came untied. Let's see if I can do it one handed. Oh, yep, yep. Mm, yep, yep. All right. 26. This is random. And you know what? Because it's so random, let's start it off at $12 for the pair. For the pair. These are something that I purchased to like, I think to do something with them. And then I never did. So maybe you are that person that wants to do something with these. I don't know. So you're getting both, both and the boxes starting at $12. So the first one is pole parrot. Shoes for girls and boys, boys and girls, thrift grade and it's brown Bletcher and they're pre-tested Pre-tested how does one pre-test a shoe? So it's the original little shoe box and then inside Now there's two pairs you're not just getting one pair, okay, does that make sense? You've got the original little children's leather shoes and the sewing and the quality of these is really good. I still think these are like very wearable they have leather soles and the poly parrot mark on the bottom. I don't think these were ever worn. And they have their original shoelaces on the inside and around there. 
So you're getting a little brown pair. And these are for boys and girls. It says so. And I like that it says thrift there too. And then the second pair, I like this box a lot, is Ringmaster. A fitting start to growing feet. Yes, there is some water damage. Um, Ringmaster. Look at this box. How cool. And then it's got the elephant, the horses, and the clown. This would be a great riser if you collect circus-themed items. And then inside this pair, this pair was real pre-tested, okay? Because this pair has been worn, but they are Ringmaster shoes. So I do think they are the original shoes to this box. They're the little white ones, and they're all like aged and tattered and I love them I mean they're not too tattered they're just worn the leather like has been worn but I love them put a little bottle brush tree in here for Christmas some eggs in there for Easter just so cute and you're getting both pair Lana yes these ones are totally wearable just make sure he has high socks we won't give him blisters but we are going to start the countdown on the pair of them at 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bit end. And they just don't make shoes like they used to, you know? These are good quality. Get in there. Get in your box. Oh. Lana, Lana, will you please? I mean, he, your child is your child. And I know some people are like, me being one of them, don't want to send pictures of your children. But if you do put your baby in them, can you at least send me a picture of like their knee down? I just want to see little baby feet in those shoes. In not a weird way, okay? You're welcome, thank you so much, congratulations. Lana Lana, her 19. Thank you so much and congratulations. Dang it. You're in for the giveaway. And I can share. Okay, perfect. I can't wait. 28, Lana. Do you know what that is? Not a choice. I thought it was, but it's not. I forgot I brought 30 items tonight, so I hope you guys are in for the long haul. Now, this item is a piece that maybe I wouldn't normally usually bring. I don't do a lot of, like, porcelain dishes, like teacups and bowls and mugs and stuff like that. But this was so pretty, and I picked this up at my, I had to buy something from every antique booth at that antique mall. And I think it's really pretty, and we're in the perfect time of year for it. I'm going to start it at $14, and it is this hand-painted bowl. Now, I do believe this is antique. I'm thinking late 1800s, early 1900s, and it's giving me Austrian or German vibes. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it's not marked on the back. It just has that standard gold numbering. It is number 452. We've all seen that very generic, just kind of gold numbering. No maker's mark, but it does have that old 1800 style numbering. And then look at this. I think it's so pretty. So it is this large winter scene bowl and I don't see like the little pixels so I do believe this is hand painted I don't think it's transfer wear if it is transfer wear then it is a combination of transfer wear and hand painting because I can see brush strokes so in the center we have this snowy pathway bridge leading to a withering cottage and a um, windmill and then it's got this like scale mermaid painted texture in between each scene. Up here we have another withering style cottage. 
And then up here we have another one over a covered bridge. And then over here, we have the little windmill. And then we have this one with this little like hillside and birds. And there's another cottage in the distance. And this is a pretty large bowl, so this is a good serving platter, or if you could um, put one of those plate holders, this would be beautiful to hang on the wall. It's about 12 and a half by nine inches, and it is in the classic, just white, and I love these like scale, scalloped detailing here, and then that detailing, it is just really pretty. Um, we are going to start the countdown on this. It's starting at 14. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid it. Bid end, bid end, bid end, bid end, bid end. Did you get it, Liza? Jamie got in there before the bid end. It's going to go to Jamie. Thank you so much, Jamie and Liza. Grafton. 4.15. Thank you ladies so very much. That is a beautiful bowl. And I just love that you can buy like an antique hand painted bowl for like the price you can a brand new one. You know, I'll go antique every day over uh, brand new. <gasps> Mom's minute. It's that time. And mom made something new this week. Something we've not seen before. So I'm excited. All right, so this is gonna be choice, starting at $14. You can choose one or the other. It is not for the pair. So mom has been painting. Mom's been painting, okay? She's been watercoloring. So mom painted these two watercolors and they are signed. So you have a choice, if you're interested, between this one and this one she has named Bird's Eye View bird's eye view and it is these three cats you've got kind of like a calico an orange and a black cat sitting on the grass looking up at the clothesline with these two little birds now I will tell you these frames are wooden they did have stickers on the back and we took them off and that sticky residue is still there and I couldn't clean it off because this is like a corkboard material. So I do want to let you know that. I don't want you to get it and be like, oh, why is that sticky? It was where the sticker was from the store. I don't know why they put such sticky stickers on there. Um, I can cover it up with another sticker for you. <laughs> but that's about all I can do for that. But this one is called Bird's Eye View. And mom completely painted this with watercolor by hand her own design or uh I know darn sticky stickers her own vision I suppose and the second choice is that's not the other one is this one and this one she named snow snow and it is this little it reminds me of um Madeline Madeline's house you know her orphanage this one she named Snow, and it is this red cottage, and it has got these snowy trees and snowfall. So you are getting to choose between snow or bird's eye view, and they both come in the same frame with the same sticky. <laughs> Aggravating. Thank you so much, Laza. We are going to start the countdown. Doesn't it look like Madeline? The boarding school. Wasn't a boarding school not an orphanage? 
I'm confused. But we are gonna start the countdown on these. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Fit in. I need chapstick real bad. Remember that from Napoleon Dynamite? I don't have any chapstick out here. I've been chatting too much. Zona, you got it. Congratulations, Zona. Zona, which one were you leaning towards, my dear? You can say house or you can say cats. House? Cats. My lips hurt real bad. Handsome husband, if you're watching, fly me in some chapstick. Cats. You got it. I know he's not, but one can hope. Zona. You did it for 24. Now, Miss Lipley, Dib, Dib Lipley, it is totally okay if you're going after the cats too. No hard feelings here. But was there any interest in snow or Madeline? Snowy Madeline, boarding house, orphanage, we're unsure. Probably boarding house because I'm wrong a lot. But just let me know, Deb, if you had an interest in snow. And while we, we wait on that, what's a dog's favorite dessert? Pup cakes? Or pupsicles? Pass, please. No worries. No, no problem at all, my dear. Traveling crafter? Did you want snow? For 20? Boarding school. Vote for Pedro. Boarding school. Okay, I was wrong. No surprise there. <laughs> no surprise there. Oh yeah, the little lights are on inside. It's cozy. They're all warm and cozy in there. It's yours. Thank you so much, dear. I appreciate it and I know mom does. Traveling crafter. For Shwanti. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear Derry. Derry. Four. What is that? Ooh, we got. Dang it. You know, I do know the difference between a Daguerreo type and Embryo type. But I guess the flu knocked that information out of my brain. But I'm gonna go with. Daguerreo. Because my brain's fried. I don't know. Anyways, this is going to start at $15. Now, let me say this. When I show this to you, it's probably not going to come across as cool as it does in person. This is another one where I posted on my shorts. And um, you can see it a lot better there. But this is a Victorian photograph. Oh, you can actually see her pretty good. I was worried for a minute. It's a Victorian photograph. Here is the back. It is in a beautiful brass and bronze frame. And then she is behind glass. And she, it's mirrored, so it's kind of hard. But she is super beautiful. And I love her because I call these my ghostlies, where it's kind of hard to see the image, but it's in there. And she's sitting in that beautiful wooden um victorian chair and then like if you tilt her in certain directions she turns more like ghostly which is hard to show you with all these lights and such as but all of so this is the but, but, but the words you know this <laughs> frame is under the glass so this is not on top, that is under the glass. And she's wearing a collar quite similar to mine. And it looks like a black morning dress. And she's just beautiful. 
And you will like it better in person because it's just not coming across the camera correctly. And I knew it really wouldn't. And then it's got this lovely little braided detailing around the outside of it. And these are fun to put in your little curio cabinets. It's three and a quarter by three inches. And it's lovely. And you can see yourself in it. That could be your pocket mirror. But we are going to start the countdown on her. Thank you so much, Fish Mom. She's ready to haunt your home. No, she's not. She's sweet. She is a sweetheart. I know her personally. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid in. Woo, 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 woo. Bid in. And she'll be like a little surprise. So you can really see what she looks like when you get her. What did the president say when a man threw cheese at him? How dare he? Barbara, you got it. Thank you. And congratulations. Barbara. How dare he? <gasps> ding, 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 ding. Barbara, come on up to the front. Barbara Mundo, would you like to be the next contestant on What's in the Withering Horde? Come on up, Barbara. Barbara, Barbara Mundo, would you like to be my Vanna Unana? Hopefully you know what the heck I'm talking about. If you don't, I drew number 29, which means nothing to you. But to me, it means this is the part of the, the show night part where you tell me what kind of item you'd like for me to go scour my withering hoard for. And I will bring it back here live on this location and offer it to my friends for purchase. Would you like to participate, Barbara? If you said yes into this, makeshift microphone, then all I need from you is to say something. Kind of keep it a little vague because I probably don't have a purple eyed pumpkin eating monster here, but I might be. Don't you dare, Barbara. <laughs> don't listen to Pee Wee. Mm -mm. Nope. You have your own free willed mind, Barbara. You don't need Pee Wee. You make up your own mind, okay? So just whatever your heart tells you, I shall go find for you. But I do need to go shopping because my hoard is dwindling. <laughs> and I hate to disappoint you all if I can't fulfill your orders. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Heart decor. Oh, <gasps> You're lucky. You are lucky. You know why? I'm not going to tell you why, but I'll tell you why in a minute. You're lucky. All right, give me just a minute. Steady, rock, rock, steady, Eddie. All right. Up next, we have a pair because why the heck not? They don't really go together, but they're themed somewhat. All right, so the pair of these are going to start off at $14. 
I'm not building anything. I just, I had to choose from some stuff because Valentine's Day is coming up, so I did have some heart stuff. All right, so the first item you're getting to is this adorable little, like, pot. What do you put in it? Hearts? Don't put human hearts. Cannibalism. Not sponsored. But it is this cute little just tin, and it's got, um... It's an old lunch pail. That's what I was gonna say, Dusty. I was gonna say, I don't know. But it's got heart decals on it. And it's got this one little flower there and this one little flower there. And I love the little metal handle. It's just cute. Imagine this with some like paper in there and like your Valentine's Day stuff sticking out. That would be cute. Or a riser or just for your kitchen for Valentine's Day. I think it's really sweet. But this is a little too clean for me. This is my aesthetic. I have no idea what this was and I didn't even Google it, but I love it. And I love how rusty and crusty it is. And I just love it. It is made by, this could be a real find. I don't know. It's made by Brills Can Co. Brills Can Co. But look at this one. Mm, I love it. I love it so much. So this is a huge. Now, when I ship this, I could put this in there to help shipping. But this is an amazing riser. Or if you're like me and you have that weird gap between the top of your counters and like your ceiling, this would be good there. But look at this. So it has this heart tree. And look, he's got a flower and a present behind his back. And she's got her dog and she's like, is that for me? That for me and then there's all these little details more swoopy heart trees and it's all like dented and aged it's perfect this is exactly how I would um, decorate for Valentine's Day here's the top there's the bottom just a really cute unique Valentine's a bucket of fried chicken fried hearts but I love that right there that's the money shot display it like that put that on there how adorable and you're getting the pair of them pair of them starting at $14 but this one is just too cute I love that love it very 70s but I see Barbara in at 14. Thank you so much, Barbara. We are gonna start the countdown ASMR at 15, 14, 13, 12, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. I love that tree. I love that tree so much. I gotta get more Valentine's Day stuff though. I do. I like I like shopping for holidays. Suzanne Reck, thank you so much and congratulations. I think you are a new friend to me and I appreciate you. And thank you and congratulations. Make sure I write that, there you go. Thank you so much and you're in for the giveaway drawing. I appreciate you, dear. 27, baby lot. This is a lot of baby stuff. All right, so up next, Starting at $16, we have this little baby grouping right here. Now, it is going to come in this vintage Nancy Ann Little Boy Blue uh, storybook doll box. Now, there is no storybook doll in here, but it is gonna, they are going to come in the storybook box. And inside of here, we've got a a conglomeration of items. First thing we have is a sterling silver. It is marked sterling right there. 
sterling silver unmonogrammed baby brush. Very clean. You're also getting the matching sterling silver baby comb. It is marked sterling there as well. And these also make really good ephemera holders. So just as an example, okay, you are getting this. Now this is not baby themed, but the pink bow really did it for me. And this is a note from Chattanooga. And it's got this little envelope in there with a little note inside. But you can use these little combs to hold your ephemera up in your displays. So you're getting the postcard, the brush, and the comb. And then you're also getting this little tattered baby which it's crazy that I'm even giving him up because I collect these and I love them. He's amazing. He is like bisque, I think, in his little original sewn on dress. And then you're getting this, which this is one of my favorite makers. Um, I think this is Castile. Yeah, Castile soap. I love, I collect vintage soaps and Castile soaps make the most fun figural soaps. So this one, is a penguin, a penguin bar of soap. How fun. So you're getting that. And then the last little part of the lot is this. And this is so cute. Look at this vintage baby bib. Stop it. It's a bunny and it's embroidered and it says dinner on it. And it's an Angie bunny. An Angie dinner bunny bib. This would have looked cute with my outfit. If I put it under. I know. I even took all the hairs off the soap for you. If I put this under my collar. I would totally wear that. So cute. So you're getting the little baby. Uh, What did I call that? I've since forgotten. Bib. Postcard. Brush comb, both in sterling silver, the Castile penguin soap, and the baby, and the box. So you're getting the whole lot. And currently we have vintage rose at 18. Thank you so much. We are gonna start the countdown on this at 15, 14, 13, doesn't it? 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bid end. I can't take my dog to the pound anymore because the ducks keep attacking him. I guess that's what I get for buying a purebred dog. <laughs> that's pretty funny to me. I don't care who you are, that's funny. Vintage Rose, you got it. Thank you so much. Vintage Rose. You A. You did it. Thank you so much, Vintage Rose. All right, this next item I love. Isn't it? And it even has its lid. I love this piece. It's a unique one. I try to pick up, well, let's be honest. I pick up most of them. But this one's really unique um, just because of the color. I'm going to start it at $50. If, of course, there's any interest, I would understand. Um, because I had, do have to start it a little higher. But I love these. I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for these. I'm a sucker for you. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, I just ripped that off. That was a dumb move. Okay, I'll put that back on. So, up next, coming up next, we have a vintage beveled glass Thank you. Um, with this like rose quartzy pink colored beveled glass jewelry casket. That's what I was thinking of. $50 start. It is lovely. So I do pick these up all the time. Um, I don't see the ones with the colored glass quite as much. And this one has beautiful filigree side panels. You can see it has the square beveled cut glass panels but then it also has these amazing filigree paneled sides it does have five feet now i did accidentally just take off the green pad off that one i will reattach i'll reattach that to the air for you 
and all the glass is prong set. The legs, they're good. This, they're, they're good. Now, a couple of them seem to be bent inwards just a little, but I don't know if that's intentional or not. And then here's the top. Gorgeous. And then there's the little handle still intact. And then inside, it's got all of its rivets on its cushion. And it is pretty large. It is six by six. Six by six. <gasps> Melody. Melody, are you sure, my dear? Let us know if that was an accidente. And it is very clean. Here's the bottom. <laughs> and I will reattach that pad. I'm so sorry. I thought it was something stuck on there. And like a dingus, I took it off. I shouldn't have done that. But it's beautiful. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octagon. Look at me. Octagon. But we are going to start the countdown. Oh, and look, even the inside part right here has this beautiful design as well. So thank you so much, Melody. We are gonna start your countdown, dear. I'm gonna put the pad in here so I do not lose it. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one bid end and the hinge is in really good condition too beautiful 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 thank you so much melody thank you thank you dear it's yours congratulations and thank you melody southern buckeye I really appreciate it, dear. Um, number Melody. I can feel myself fading from my sickness. I'm not fully recovered yet. Hopefully, I can, uh, hopefully I won't let y'all down. I can make it through. I made it through the wilderness. 20 is this is an interesting lot, and it kind of goes with the jewelry casket, but not really. Now, I have no idea what the heck this thing was originally, but I turned it into something else, okay? So, this lot is going to start off at $14, because I just don't know where to start, okay? I'm just being honest. So, I have this. What is this? Glass terrarium now i do not know the age of the terrarium itself i don't know if it's old i'm leaning towards not i'm pretty sure it's modern but it was too pretty to leave behind and then i added a little bit of vintage ariana flair so it is this this i don't know what you'd call this gazebo a glass and soldered gazebo if you will and then what i did with the help of mother is I have all of these crosses, these cross pendants that were off of rosaries. I didn't detach them, I got them that way. And there was these little loops here. And what I did was I put a cross on each loop and then just kind of closed the loop up. Um, you could take them off if you want. They're definitely not permanent if you had another use for this piece. And then, so I put two on every side and they are all vintage crosses and crucifixes. And then on the top, I had a broken rosary. There is a loop at the top to hang this. If you wanted to hang it with string, I looped this broken rosary in through there to kind of have that dangling. You can see it is broken. This does have four little feet. There's no cracks or chips to the glass itself. It is beveled all the way around. Now the sides are open on all four. So you could put a plant in there or whatever you wanted. The bottom is clear. And then what I did was I just also am including some other religious pieces inside. The measurements of this are five and a quarter from here to here. From bottom to the top is about eight and a half. Oh, excuse me. 
and width is four inches. And then in here, I'm also including some other religious pieces. We've got this large wooden and metal crucifix. And on the back, it is engraved Arthur. And then we've got two sacred heart badges. Nope. Yep, two. Two sacred heart badges. This, I just don't know. I don't know what it is. It's some kind of medallion or coin on a little wooden plaque. It appears to be older, but I can't make out. I don't know. I don't know. It's just a little treasure I picked up along the way. And then you're also getting this wooden cross wall hang. And then this piece I just love. Look at this teeny tiny pocket Bible. It's so small and it's like a keychain. And it's actually a teeny tiny Bible. Like there's no way you could read these letters. Look at the letters. They're so small. You would need a magnifying glass. For reals. It's just cute. It's just cute, that's all I have to say. So you're getting the terrarium with the crosses, the little Bible, this old coin or medallion, unsure, the two sacred hearts, this little wooden cross, and this cross. And we are gonna start the countdown. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Barbara. So 15, and it makes a really nice chingly sound. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hit in. I don't know if you can hear that little ding, 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 ding. Very relaxing. Makes me sheepy. I'm going to set that down. A dog likes baths. A shampoodle. Dusty, you got it. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Dusty Moose. Loose, loose, loose. Thank you, Dusty. We got Mom's Minute or Second Mom's Minute of the Night. Congratulations, Dusty. So this is good. These are going to start at Oh gosh, I forgot what I started the last ones at. Um, we'll start them at, I can't remember, $12 choice. $12 choice. And mom made two of these. And this one is ba. This one is called ba. And these are hand painted watercolors by my mom. Now this one, she covered the sticky part with her signature and the date. And it is this hand painted sheep and it's called Ba. And these are about six and a quarter by four and three fourths. So this is the first choice. He's a big boy. And then the second one she made is called Winter. And this one, I know, can't you, Amy? This one is called Winter, and it is two sheep, and it's got these, the snow, she made it look like three-dimensional, and the watercolor choice, the watercolor choice, I read that, the watercolor is just so well done on these. I love the little berries around the sheep's necks. So sweet. And these are one of a kinds because my mom hand painted them. She's super talented. I like too how she did the sky in this one. In the sky in that one, you can kind of tell that uh, she made it, what is that, ombre? Ombre. And they're both the same size, but they're great. And it, let's all be honest, it's kind of tricky sometimes to decorate for winter. Like I took my Christmas down and I'm like, what do I do until spring? Like, I have no winter decor. I have Christmas and spring. That's it. 
but these are great for winter. But we are going to start the countdown on these. You can choose between ma or winter. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We didn't. You put out your favorite finds. That is true, but I like to decorate for seasons, you know? I just do. But I don't have very many winter. Also, if you are the one, if you missed it or if you didn't, if you're the one that gifted me this in my P.O. box and these little weirdos for Christmas, if you could email me so that I could have your email, so that I could thank you. I would really appreciate it. If you want to stay private, that's fine too. But if you don't mind, if you gifted this to me, please send me an email just so I can ex express to you how much your gifts meant to me. Boop. So, Traveling Crafter. She did sign them. They're in the corners. You can't see it, but they're in there, I promise. Traveling Crafter. Which one or ones would you like? You can choose between my or winter. Ba or winter. Oops, sorry. Your choice, my dear. Summer, spring, winter, fall. All you gotta do is call. And I'll be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I decorate with pixie planters. Red Gilner Pixies too. Both please, you got it, how sweet. Thank you, Angela. Traveling Crafter. Now, I've said this before, but I just wanna clarify one time, one more time, because I did say Angela. I know almost all y'all's names. Almost all y'all's real names. But I don't know how many of you want to be private or not. The only reason I feel comfortable saying Angela's name is because she's a fellow tuber. So her name is out there, if that makes sense. So don't think I don't know your name. That's all. Good day. Because I do. I just want to respect your privacies. Because when you send me your information, I don't know if that's, that could be confidential. I don't want to go to jail. I just want to be respectful. Now these. I am very comfortable in saying that these are reproductions. I usually don't bring reproductions, um, but I did get these at a Victorian estate sale. And if you guys have been to an estate sale when they first open on the first day, it's grab, 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 grab. And I didn't even look, you know what I mean? But they're still super cool. But because they are reproductions, we're gonna start them off at $8 choice. Now I didn't Google these, I didn't put them in my Googler, so I don't know what they go for as reproductions, but I just would feel better saying starting at $8. Choice. They're going to be choice. So the first one we have is Jolly Pastime Storybook. Um, these are based off of 1800s children's books. And they are these paper mache little boxes. And inside they are puzzles. Now they do, this one has a little rip in the plastic, but it is still in its original plastic and it is Jolly Pastime Storybook and they're little wooden puzzles based off of Victorian children's books. And then it also comes in this little box, which these are just so cute. I hadn't seen them before. So you've got this one. It is the same as this Jolly Pastime. And then you've got five little peppers. Five little peppers from the Gru and, and how they grew. <laughs> five little peppers and how they grew. And it is also a puzzle, wooden puzzle. And it's still in its plastic has all their pieces. Well, we just lost a couple, but they're in there, I promise. They're in there. Based off of 1800s children's novels. 
Go, go, go. Yo. Your mess went by OCD, man. But they're so fun and unique. And I don't know what they're worth, but they're cool. And that's why I got them, because they're cool. But I see Sandra Bowers in at 12. Thank you so much, Sandra. We are going to start the countdown on choice. You can choose between five little peppers or jolly pastime. Measurements, please. Absolutely. The boxes are just under nine and a half and by seven. So like nine by seven. Nine by seven. But we are going to start the countdown. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. What do you call a potato fighting in a coliseum? A gladitator. But uh, no, no, okay. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to make y'all laugh. Purdy pansies, you did it. Which one or ones can I get you, purdy pansies? Purdy's pansies. Would you like jolly pastime or five little peppers and how they grew? Oh, you want a cheese joke? Let me just flip the next card. I'm sure it'll be a cheese joke. What did I do with what did I do with my cheese handkerchief? I blew my nose and blue spelled B L E U. I feel like that's important. Both please, you got it. Thank you so much. I blew my nose. That joke does not translate well. You know? Party pansies. You did it. Y'all, guess what my, this is so nerdy, but I'm so excited. Guess what my big Christmas present was from Handsome Husband? I got two, but I won't tell y'all what one is because I feel like you'll judge me for one of them. So I'm just going to tell you what the main one was. Y'all just guess. What was my big present from Handsome Husband? And I mean big. This was pretty big. He went, I didn't even ask for it, which is just crazy. All right. Amy, enamored of the Amy. Are you here, my love? Everybody else, close your eyes. <laughs> Just close your eyes and open them when I say, okay? Just collectively on the count of three. Everybody close your eyes, but Amy. Three, two, one. Everybody's eyes closed? Okay, cool. Amy, psst. Well, everybody's eyes are closed. Is this Stife? He doesn't have a tag. He doesn't have an ear tag. Or a button. There is a hole in his ear. This is Stife. Okay. Everybody open your eyes. Yay. Okay. Starting at $24. Now I know that's, you're like $24 for a stuffed animal. Well, you know, Stife. Stife is Stife. And I can't fix Stife prices. Okay. And this is a good one. Now I will tell you before you do anything, he has a little bit of a tear right here right there do you see right there amy my friend enamored amy says that this is a stife now he doesn't have his ear button or his tag but he does have a hole in his ear right there so it's pop i mean you know, he looks like Stife. He feels like Stife. He's really super good quality. His mohair is in amazing condition. Stife is so collectible. Look at these little airbrushed pads. And I love his little derpy face and his little hair on his ears. Stife are definitely one of my favorite uh, plushie makers. I just think they're so primitive and classic and well made and they're always flat and very displayable i think he's fantastic here's a little close-up of his face and his little wonky eye i love your wonky eyes and i love his little pink nose i'll tell you what handsome husband got me 
It's awesome. His hole is a forensic clue. I believe so. But he's adorable and stuff. Just their stuff is so well made and collectible. And he's fantastic. That's all I've got to say, okay? That's all I've got to say. But we're going to start him down. We're going to count him down. You ready, Val? You ready? He's in your 1959 Stife catalog. Did you hear that, mister? You're famous. You're in a catalog. How's that make you feel? We're going to start the countdown on Mr. Stife Tiger Row. Uh, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hi. Bit it. Bow, bow. Bow. What is that? The oh on um Shrek. Where he's like, say rar! Say rar! That's what I feel like he would say. Say rar! Say rar! Do y'all know the kid I'm talking about? That's what he reminds me of. Just me? Okay. <laughs> Laura, you got him. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm a big nerd, all right? And I had a beautiful, beautiful Garrett AT Gold Metal Detector. And it was supposed to be waterproof. And I took it to the beach and I went detecting in the ocean and it water bogged. And so for Christmas, Handsome Husband got me a brand new AT Max metal detector with wireless headphones so now when most girls be on the beach reading their books and in their bathing suits getting their tan on i'm gonna be like beep 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 excuse me sir beep 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 i'm gonna be everywhere you're not gonna be able to stop me beep beep boop 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 i'm so excited and i live on a big creek so like i'm gonna be you i'm just gonna be metal detected you'll be like where's ariana Metal detected. Have you seen our app? Metal detected. This is what I'm going to be doing. I can't help it. I'm excited. All right. This next item is like a what? Why? And the thing is, don't worry about it. Just appreciate it for what it is. Decorative uselessness. But I love it. Obviously. <laughs> so this is going to start... At, here's we're gonna start this at $16 I know it's a little high but this is quite the collection try to buy them individually that's all I'm saying okay so this is a two for one or okay it is a collection of vintage paintbrushes in this tin now there is a lid to this and I love this tin first of all because it's pink and distressed and I love it but it's antiquing two steps polyurethane wood finishing kit. But I just love that it has antiquing and like that big font because we all love antiquing, right? That's why we're here. And it's got the cool lid. It is clean inside. I'll show you. Well, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. It's got the original instructions in there. But what I did was I paired it with this huge lot. Of vintage paintbrushes now are they usable technically yes will they like lose their hair maybe I don't know some of them are not really usable like this one is super tiny I don't know if it was supposed to be like that or not but they all have these tags on them which I did not pay this price I don't know if these are prices or the style numbers but you're probably getting a good two, four, six, eight, ten, twenty, thirty, about fifty paintbrushes in here that says antiquing. And I just love this. Uh, I think it's decorative. I think it's different. I think it's fun on your mantle, in your office. And you can take these tags off if you want to. Um, but the paintbrushes are all pretty clean. 
But I'm telling you, you go buy one paintbrush nowadays, $14 for this. What is the bid start on this? $16. And you're getting the antiquing tin and you're getting about 50 paintbrushes. I don't know exactly how many paintbrushes there are, but there's about 50 and they're all wooden. And I'm a sucker for paintbrushes. I like displaying them in my home because I think they're cool. And I liked these because I like the tags that are on them. I have no idea what they mean. 0.55. Was it 55 cents at some point? I don't know. I didn't pay that. They're old tags. Like, look, this one is a Gaines Bro. I don't know. I just think that this is super fun. I really like it. Decorative. For your decorative needs. And it's got these on the back. It's got these on the back. These illustrations here on the back. I just like it. Don't ask me why. Stop asking me questions. I'm going to count this down so you'll stop asking me questions. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Hey, Amy. Hey, Amy. Why aren't cats good storytellers? Because they only have one tail. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Eh? It wasn't about cheese. Today, a man knocked on my door and asked for a small donation towards the local swimming pool. I gave him a glass of water. Purdy Pansies, thank you so much and congratulations. Pansies ain't messing around. Heck no. She knows what she wants and she gets what she wants and she knows it. Wait a second. Wait a hot minute. I'm missing a daggum token. No wonder I ain't drawn that. I got three tokens left, but I got four items. So where's my token? Oh, it was hiding. It was all the way over here. Party pansies. Do you want to be my Vanna Unana? My Vanna Unana. Hey, party pansies, do you want to be my Vanna Unana? Say yes. So, I was wondering why we weren't drawing people pick items. It's because it wasn't in my box. Good thing I noticed. So we have this item and then we have three more items. <gasps> cool! What do you want to be in that book? <laughs> what do you want me to pick? <laughs> My brain. <laughs> come on over, come on over, baby. Come on over. Old oh, paper goods. That's going to take me a minute. Pretty Pansies would like old paper goods. I will be the first to admit that my paper ephemera is not the most organized. So, uh, I will try to be back within one minute. I'll do my best. Please pause. Don't leave. We have giveaways, so don't leave, okay? Get paper goods. Be right back. Paper goods. Paper goods, paper goods. I got a basket. Does that count? Does that count as organization? Piper, piper, piper. Well, I could do that. We'll pause that. Pause that to think about. Mm, no, 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 no. I'm trying to hurry. Y'all don't leave me. Y'all don't leave me. Don't leave me. Ooh, this is cool. No, no. Focus. Focus. Um, what do I want to do? This is so stressful. Okay, I think I got it. Kind of.
We are going to start this at $12. Now, I don't know what's in here. I bought this like this. Let's discover it together, shall we? You're getting the box, too. And you're getting everything in the box. I don't know what's in this box, but we're going to find out. All right. The first thing is this Lion Coffee ad. 16 to 1 ounces to the pound in each package of Lion Coffee. This would look amazing in a flower frog. This is 1800s uh, advertisement for Lion Coffee. That's the first piece. Then you're getting this baggie, still stapled, so you can see, I honestly did not go through it, of Victorian die cuts. See, y'all get fresh picks when we do it this way. Isn't that fun? I could, there could be something in here I really want to keep. You're getting this die cut. This would be so cute glued on something. I mean, obviously, but I mean like a body. Yes. You're getting this one. These are definitely older. Victorium. Look at her. Mm. Do I get to bid to? Of course. Yes, if you want to. And then her, she's like, oh, oh my. Then, this is coming with it. This is really cool. This says, Made in Czechoslovakia. And this was just in there. It is this little tiny metal frame with its original easel. Made in Czechoslovakia. That's coming. Oh, and look at the little things to go in it. The little Victorian portraits. Oh, cute. See, this is why hoarding, this is why hoarding is good. Hang on. Hoarding is good. You're getting two of the little Victorian pictures. I'm not going to mess with it right now, but look, they fit in there. And they are older. <gasps> Cute. That is so fun. The dog went in the pond to get her doll. Adorable. Then we have another lying coffee ad. A sad Humpty Dumpty clown. I know that because it says Humpty Dumpty on the back. This is cool. I didn't even know I had this. Then another Lion Coffee ad. And then this. This is not time period, ma'am. Where did you come from? For my Valentine. I'm a little piggy because I want you all for mine. That's weird. I like it, but it's weird. And then the last things, last things is this baggie. And these are like miniature Victorian postcards. Be of good cheer. Give me thine heart. My lips shall praise thee. Be thankful unto him. He leadeth me beside the waters. Thou hast put gladness in my heart. I will be with thee. This one's cute, a little cottage and a butterfly. These are so cute. And four more. Look how tiny. So you're getting this whole box of little paper treasures. So fun. And we are going to start the countdown. I see Betty in at 18. Thank you so much, Betty. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bid it. Why did the scarecrow get a promotion? Because he was out standing in his field. Because <laughs> he was out standing in his field. Thank you. Thank you. Piper lot. Per. Oh, wait, nope. Where's the bait end? I'm waiting. I'm being a good girl. I'm 
being a good girl. Way to go. Bid end. So it goes to Purdy Pansies. Thank you so much. For 37. Why do cats smell good? Because they wear so much perfume. Perfume. All right. Now. Now. Listen. 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 I sold a fairy lamp concoction about a year ago that was not how it was supposed to be. And I have another one. But I like them like this. Okay? I just like them like this. But because it's not... It's not. It's not. So we're going to start it at 20 because it's not. But it is. But it's not. All right. So starting at $20, we have this fairy lamp. Now, I put this together, but I like it like this. So here she is. Now, what is my brain and why can I not function? B. Barracuda, bear knees, bear knees. <laughs> I'm fading. Y'all help me. What is this called? Burmese. Thank you, Dusty. So this is a Burmese. <laughs> Burmese shade. Okay. So it's hand painted. I'm going to start with that. It's hand painted. It's in beautiful condition. It's Fenton. Signed, hand painted. If you could find the bottom for this, that in and of itself would be a really good deal. She glows, glows, glows. My light is dying. There you go. She glows, 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 glows. Nothing glows like Bur Burmese or Barracuda. It's got these beautiful dogwoods hand painted on it. Now I have this. This is like a little insert. And then, oh, the bottom's dirty. I missed, I missed spa cleaning day. I believe this is a Fenton fairy lamp base as well, but it's not Burmese. It is marked Fenton. And this one's got this cool, like, smoky look to it. So you're getting the base and then the insert that just fits perfectly on top. And then the Burmese shade. So this is what it looks like. I love the mixture. I think it's subtle, but feminine, really pretty, but not like in your face. I really like it. And again, it just glows so pretty. And that little insert piece, that took me a while to find because you cannot, this will not, it's too big. It's too big. But with this, it's perfect. It's perfect. Look, it's like, it fits so snugly. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So it is five and a half inches tall. Just a fun little Frankenstein. I think it's cool. I really like it. But we are going to start the countdown. Thank you so much, Vintage Rose. So 15, and the base is textured. Really cool. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. Hi, MJ. It's like an egg. This will be cute for Easter. It's like an Easter egg. Yay! Hi, Robin. Something about that base. About that base. I've had that base for, I kid you not, about three years. I'm trying to find the right top for that. I'm not joking. I can tell you exactly when and where I got it. So that is going to Vintage Rose. 
Thank you, Vintage Rose. Oh, 48. All right, we got two items left and then the giveaway. Can you believe it? What a fun night. All right, this one I got at an estate sale in Florida. And this is not something I normally pick up, but there was something about it. And I don't know anything about it. And because I don't know anything about it, I'm just gonna start it at $8 and let y'all decide if it's something or if it's nothing. I don't know. I like to pick up things I've not seen before. And this was one of them. And also, I really like oyster plates. That's like something I love. And this kind of reminded me of an oyster plate. So, um, first thing it's gonna come with is this little easel. And it does say Andrea by Sadik on it. So you're getting this little brass easel. Now this is marked, but I didn't look it up. It's marked Pintado A Moy. So P-I-N-T-A-D-O-A-M-A-O. -A -A um, I believe it's Germany. Here's the maker on the back. But it is this little hand-painted seashell oyster dish. I love the pink and the little hand-painted floral details. And I love that it's like an oyster shape. I think that is so beautiful. And there's the back again if you want to look it up. I guess I didn't remember it being marked, and so I never looked it up. I'm not sure why I didn't. But there's the back, and it sits on the easel like that. And then, look, it comes with this little, I don't even know. Like, would you put your oyster on there and this would hold, like, your cocktail sauce? Uh, this is also hand-painted, and I liked it because it looked like a little shoe to me. And it's got a little handle on it, a gold gilded handle. And I just thought it looked like a little shoe next to a little oyster. I don't know. I thought it was so sweet and different. And it's beautifully hand painted. I mean, it's really good quality. And it is going to come with the little easel. But I think they're so sweet. I don't know what they are, but I liked them. And I see Cheryl in at eight. Thank you so much, Cheryl. It's a sweet, sweet little set. But butter, maybe. I don't know. It's just like your little individual oyster plate. <laughs> I don't know. It's cute. But we are going to start the countdown on this pairing. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid end. I'm going to have to look this up after the sale because now I'm curious why I never did that. My brain, you know, it just don't be working like it used to. <laughs> Cheryl Stevens, you did it. Congratulations and thank you so much. Cheryl Stevens. It's an oyster on a half shell. Oyster on a half shell. Now this next piece, I am gonna start it at $25 because it is an antique figural candle holder. And these can be pretty collectible. Um, I don't recall finding this one online, but it is so special, I think. Um, it's a stunner. Like it just stands out to me. And Again, I know it probably gets annoying that I say this. I, my favorite stuff to pick up is things that I don't see a lot. And this is one of those items. I don't see an individual candle holder like this ever. Like I have it. If you have, cool. I just have it. So this is what I'm assuming would be probably quadruple plated. It is marked on the bottom with a number, but not a maker. Um, Five, no, wait, two, one, seven, two, three, I think it is, but this is so cool, and I love figural things, 
especially like older figural things. So I am including it with this candle. Now it does not take like a standard candle candle. They're more like um, the Hanukkah sized candles, but here it is. And I think this is stunning. This is just personally my personal aesthetic. I think it is so cool. The details on the wings, and on the fact that the candle holder is a branch. And I mean, every little feather is there. It is an eagle, obviously. And then it's on this amazing rock or, no, it's it would be the ground because there are leaves and foliage on there, but there are rocks on there too. And look at the part that holds the candle with the figural leaves right there. It is just stunning. And then here's the bottom. Isn't it? I can see it in a library as a bookend. This would totally be my vibe for a bookend. It's heavy enough that I think it would hold your books in the bottom base is wide enough. So this is your bookend like that. It's so like cool library to me and there's the detail of the underwings of the underwings and the claws on its feet i mean it's just incredible i mean tell me tell me you've seen one of these before you have it i know it i know you have it in the detail yes for the fourth of july i just think it's so cool and eagles are just like such proud standing birds and it's masculine, but it's feminine. And I loved it. I think it's so special. I love figural things, especially antique figural things. Measurements. So without the candle, it's about five and three fourths, just under six inches. With the candle, it's nine inches. And then wingspan is six inches. And the beak is in perfect condition. I love that he's turning sideways. I just, I love this piece. I really do. I really do. But we are going to start the countdown on it and then we get to do the giveaways. So 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bid in. Dusty, you got it. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Dusty Moose is loose for 35. For 35. All right. Thank you so much, Dusty. I think I need to grab a piece of paper because. I need it for, I didn't think about it for the other giveaway. Hang on one second. All right, how do I want to do this? First, we're gonna do the giveaway for everybody that purchased, and then we're gonna do the giveaway for everybody. How do I wanna do it? How should we do it? I'm stumped. All right. I think that we'll just do, I want to do something a little different. An animal, not a number, an animal. Okay. But first let's do, I'm getting ahead of myself. First, let's do the giveaway for everybody that purchased tonight. It is this lovely vintage, well, I don't know how old this is actually. Maybe I shouldn't say vintage. Leather Patricia Nash satchel bag. This is gonna be the giveaway for those that purchased. So everybody that purchased tonight is going back into the Withering Cottage box. And I'm sorry, it's gonna be a little loud. And there is no, there, I can't control this. 
There's, I don't cheat. There's no anything. It's just, it is what it is. Somebody who bought one thing might get it. Somebody that bought five things might get it. I can't tell you. Number 18 is the photo and bracelet combination. So Jamie Grafton, you are getting the Patricia Nash purse. Jamie Grafton. Thank you so much and congratulations. I hope you like it. Thank you, dear. And now the giveaway is for everybody. It is a ring bomb ring. Don't judge me. I like it. It's a fun time. It's a fun time. Ring bomb. I like it. So this is a size eight and it is lab grown black fire opal rhodium plating suggested MSRP is 188. It's brand new. I never wore it. I got it just for you. Well, truth be told, I kind of wanted to keep this one, but... Oh, you're welcome, Jamie. Thank you. It is two bands, and they are lab-grown fire opals, so there is a beautiful cover, color shift on it. So this is going to be the giveaway for everybody, and this is called Feeling a Spark. Feeling a Spark. All right, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down in the name of an animal on this piece of paper, and I'm gonna do it down here so that y'all don't see like how long or how short my word is. And then I'm going to fold it up, and I'm going to hand it to this baby. So you know I'm not cheating. Hold that baby. So, baby, no one go yet. Don't go yet. Y'all don't go until I say go and redheaded kitty cat. I'm going to wait for it to stop. Because I'm not going to take anything before I say start. So, I'm not counting nothing. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Has it stopped? Has it stopped? Still going, I'm not looking. I haven't said start yet. I haven't said start. I gotta say the rules. Okay, so you don't have to have bought in order to play, but anything before redheaded kitty cats start isn't gonna count. And you can put in as many animals as you want. You can do it as many times as you want, but nothing above redheaded kitty cats start is gonna count. Okay, so it's going to be an animal. And when I say start, you can put in your animal guesses. No emo, well, no emojis, because I can't really see the emojis. Just write out the words, okay? Red, nothing above redheaded kitty cats is gonna count. Nothing above redheaded kitty cats start is gonna count. So on your marks, get set, go. I'm gonna look for redheaded kitty cats start, and then I'm gonna look for the animal. Lamer. No, that's not it. I'm sorry. I, that was just funny. Ah, it's going so fast. I can't even see. Okay, stop. I see it. I'll have to go back and make sure I see that it's the first one. But I think it is. But I will double check. All right, let's see. Let's show you here. Start. Doop, 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 I got it. So let me write it down real quick before I lose it. I'm just double checking. I think that was the first one. If I'm mistaken, I apologize. I'm not trying to be a fibber, but I think 
Okay. I think I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty right. So, it is going to go to, ready? Like, no cheating, nothing on my sleeve. Thank you, baby. It was Elephant. So, Kitchy Corner, you got the giveaway. Thank you so much. Elephant is actually my daughter's favorite animal. So, Elephant, it was. Kitchy Corner got it. Congratulations, Kitchy Corner. Thank you guys so much. Um, I will be trying to get your packages packaged and invoiced by Friday. That's my goal, but as we all know, the last two weeks have not gone according to plan. Although I am pretty good at always making sure I package your items and invoice you in a timely manner. I think that's really, really important. Um, thank you for not forgetting about me. And I'm sorry I left y'all hanging for two weeks. It just, that's not what I meant to do. But uh, it happened, it happened. But thank you guys for coming back. And I hope if you're not doing anything next Tuesday, you want to come back and hang out with me again. That'd be fun. That'd be so fun. Um, I miss y'all when you're not here and when it's not Tuesdays. But thank you for once again. Well, that was aggressive. I'm sorry. Thank you once again for joining me at Withering Cottage. And a huge, sorry, I almost forgot, a huge thank you to Redheaded Kitty Cat and just for everybody that hung out with us tonight. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and Happy New Year, and hopefully I'll get a video out this week. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. But thank you once again for joining me at Withering Cottage. Good night. <laughs>